What's going on guys? Chinese Sky here. So just on Friday, the official reveal trailer for the upcoming Star Wars Battlefront game was released. Now I know this video for the breakdown is a little bit late because usually I make these types of videos on the day of the release of the trailer. But this time I just thought that in the future and from now on, I should take more time and care into editing these trailer breakdown videos instead of me just rushing them out like usual. Anyways, without any further ado, let's hop right into the breakdown. In the first shot, we see the Imperial Star Destroyer flying high above the skies of the moon of Endor, where we all know is where the little Ewoks lives. And according to DICE Sweden developer Patrick Bach, we will not be able to fly or pilot the Star Destroyer, which is kind of disappointing, but it doesn't come as a surprise to me because the thing is way too large and I have a feeling that the maps in this Battlefront game will be a lot smaller than it used to be. So on the screen right now, it says game engine footage. And what this basically means is that this is not actual in-game gameplay, but actually a demonstration of a pre-render scene showing what the game engine is actually capable of doing. However, a few YouTubers like Jack Frags and Level Cap Gaming has already seen a 5 minute gameplay trailer for the game, and most of them said that graphic wise, it isn't too far off from the trailer which we saw as the public. That to me is music to my ears, plus that demo or gameplay trailer was running on the PS4 and not the PC, where usually developers will run their demos or demonstrations to the press or media. So if you are like me, a PC gamer, you will probably be even more excited. As we go through the chase scene of the two speeder bikes, which is confirmed to be a player usable vehicle in Battlefront, the stormtrooper crashes, making for a very nice demonstration of explosions. But again, this is not actual in-game gameplay, but a pre-rendered out demonstration, so quality will probably be a little bit lower. In the background of the crash, we see tons of rebellion soldier troops advancing up. The main guy in the center is holding, I believe, a blaster rifle, and also most of the other soldiers are too. Pausing right here really quickly, I just have to say the E-11 blaster which we get to see in action shooting up some stormtroopers creates the best sparks effect that I have seen. When the laser actually hits the stormtroopers and creates sparks, it just looks so authentic to the movies. So fingers crossed that it will actually look very similar to this in the gameplay. Going back to the chase scene, we see the two going through the force showing off how detailed this game engine can be. The trailer itself looks great, and if the game looks anything like this, I would be super hyped and I'm sure you guys will all be too. As we saw, the stormtrooper got shot off the speeder bike and crashes, but here we see another weapon, the DH-17 blaster pistol held by a female rebellion soldier, which speaking of, we will have the option to play as both a male or a female, and also the ability to select between a variety of different alien races too. Then suddenly, as they recover from the explosion, a nice tall ATST scrolls along and opens fire. Good thing the Rebellion soldier has packed a shield, otherwise they would not have survived. The Rebel uses a jetpack to get a better angle and fires the rocket launcher at it, making for a very nice explosion. Speaking of, I almost forgot the ATST is confirmed to be a usable vehicle. Next, we have an awesome, I mean just awesome shot of a giant walker or ATAT -AT with its massive cannons and its ability to crush everything in its path. Again, more stormtroopers are incoming and after all the fighting, good thing the rebels calls in an airstrike of a squadron of Y-wing fighters. They completely destroy the living crap out of the walker and everything from the explosion to the destruction just looks awesome. But there are rumors out there saying that these things will be on rails and these rumors are coming from official DICE employees. So stay tuned to my channel to find out more information. But the coolest thing that comes out of the explosion is Mr. Darth Vader himself. As we know in Battlefront, we can play as certain in-movie characters as a sort of power-up or a reward system for doing well in the game. And as we see, Darth Vader will definitely be playable probably alongside some of the original major characters depending on the faction. Here we find ourselves in a familiar place, 
Planet Hoth with a bunch of snow speeders zooming around the sky but getting shot down by the attacking AT-AT walkers. But overall just an awesome action shot. Next, this is probably Beggar's Canyon from the Planet Tatooine. We clearly see the first person view of this X-Wing fighter. It just looks so freaking awesome. Plus, the dogfight with the TIE fighters just makes this probably my favorite shot of the whole trailer. I just can't wait to hop in one of these fighters and dogfight some people. Now unfortunately, it is confirmed that there will be no space to ground battles like we have seen before in previous Battlefront games, so that's a little bit disappointing, but I have a feeling that the space battles are coming probably maybe in a DLC or maybe even in the next EA Star Wars game. Then here we see another one of the power up characters, this time Boba Fett. We see him zooming by around the sky on his jetpack shooting up some people with the E3 carbon rifle. Slightly behind we see a sand crawler just chilling around, not sure whether you will be able to drive that thing or not but my guess would probably be no because it would be going super slow and there wouldn't really be a point. Lastly we see more TIE fighters deploying from the Imperial shipyards on the planet Solus. This is the place where the Empire makes most of their weapons for war and the trailer ends with the Millennium Falcon zooming by and destroying a couple of the TIE fighters. Also not to forget to mention, the Millennium Falcon will be a usable vehicle in Battlefront. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this quick little breakdown of the official Star Wars Battlefront reveal trailer. This was just a tiny tiny glimpse of what we will be getting on November the 17th. But for now, let's have our fingers crossed hoping that this game isn't being rushed and actually being done properly. Dice, please don't destroy this franchise. If you do, I am sure there will be tons and tons of angry gamers outside your studio on the morning of the 18th. But until then, make sure you stay tuned to my channel for all the latest coverage of Battlefront and other interesting titles. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. Peace out guys.